Hey everyone, um, <clears throat> have y'all ever felt like your landlord or apartment manager was out to get you? Well, that's how I feel about my manager. Um, he, I don't think, likes me very much. Um, I live in a very, very, very small apartment building. Like, my apartments are really, really small. There's only two buildings. Um, my building has apartments on both sides. But then there's another building that only has apartments on one side. <clears throat> this is an apartment, uh, kid-friendly apartments. Ooh, sorry. And they have nowhere to play, so they play in this little drive area. Okay. Right. Well, I'll be sitting next to my window where I am now, and I'll see cars barreling through here like 30 miles an hour. And if there's a kid out there, if they don't move out in time, they have to slam on their brakes. Or they will hit that child. Okay? <coughs> when Justin comes over, he comes, he drives in, because I'm on the back side of the, of the building. He will drive about 10 miles an hour. My manager told me the other day when I went to go pay my rent that... If he didn't slow down, that I was going to get a three-day eviction notice. That he drives too fast. And that this is a kid-friendly apartment. Okay, I can understand it's a kid-friendly apartment. But what about all the other cars that are driving through here? Hmm? I mean, hello? Why haven't you done anything about them? And he told me that Justin can no longer stay here. For more than three days or I'll get a three-day eviction notice. Because he's not on the lease. Okay, but hold on. There are at least four apartments that I can think of right now at the top of my head. Where they have people living there full time. And they don't get any notification. They don't get shit. Um... One purse, one couple has their mother living there. She's been there for at least three months. She's not on the lease, so why isn't, why haven't they gotten a notification? Um, one of my neighbors, since I moved in, he has had a rotation of people living with him. Where's his notice to evacuate? Or vacate, I'm sorry. To vacate his apartment. Why is it just me? And I'm not assuming it's just me. I know it's just me. I've spoken to other people. So why is it... I don't understand. The only thing I can think is that I've actually asked for things to get fixed. Like, my lights... They flicker, or they did. I don't know if they came and fixed them or not, but that was a fire hazard because at the light socket, there were sparks coming out, and I could smell things burning in the wall, like the smoke. That's not normal. I've said something several times, and I even called the main office. Um, my dishwasher. <laughs> I just have a shell. Of a dishwasher. There's nothing in it. <clears throat> it's been that way since the day I moved in. And downstairs. Because I live on the second floor. The apartment below me. Is one of his many. Storage units. He has. In this side of the building. He has one. Two. Four. That could be used as apartments. He has probably a total of t about eight <clears throat> or so apartments that he just uses for his own personal stuff or tools and supplies. That's too many. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, maybe I'm asking for things to actually get properly fixed. Oh, yeah, um, my dishwasher, he got a new dishwasher in for me, like... Three months ago. See, there just went a car. It just was going, like, really fast. Um, and it's downstairs collecting dust. And it has been for a few months. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. These apartments are... 
oh, not that great. Um, the pesticide guy comes in three every three months, and he don't do anything. Um, I'm allergic to the spray, so he uses the gel for me. He comes in, puts like one, two little dabs in my kitchen and in my bathroom, and that's it. And for the people who use the spray, he comes in, sprays like a tiny drop or two in the kitchen and in the bathroom, and he's done. How is that enough? These apartments are so old. They are like really, really old. There's like holes in the walls, in the ceilings, above the drop ceiling, because we have the old school, like, office drop ceiling. See, I'll let y'all see. See, that's my ceiling right there. It looks tore up. And just like the vents, they're barely being held on by two screws. Sorry about the lighting. I got up. I wanted to show y'all this. Oh, where is it? It's barely being held on. And <laughs> that's the one that's being held on the best. But it's like everything in this apartment is falling apart. I'm no joke. Um, the toilet. <clears throat> the wall behind it was cut out. So the toilet was shoved up into it. And it looks like they got like tissue paper or something and put caulk around it to mask the huge two and a half almost three inch hole around it so <clears throat> I mean I don't ask for a lot all I'm asking is for a livable apartment a decent apartment now I know these are like super fucking cheap but that shouldn't matter and it's ridiculous yeah, I know I'm going on kind of a rant, but I had to say it. I had to freaking get it off my chest. <sighs> it's just ridiculous. It really is. <clears throat> and the people that live here aren't the most savory. Most of them, I wouldn't trust with anything. I really wouldn't. A lot of them, um, yeah, I don't really want to say, but yeah, I wouldn't trust them. It's just bad. But if y'all can think of maybe a reason I'm being singled out, because that's the way it seems. It seems like I am being singled out. And... I looked at my lease. There is nothing in the lease stating you have to drive like a freaking snail through this apartment complex. There's nothing. There is um, the three-day thing in the lease. Okay, that's if you're not on the lease. But Justin is a co-signer and he had to fill out the application and do his fee, everything. So let me ask y'all, does that mean he is on the lease? Or is that just he's the financial backing if something happens and I can't do anything? That's the main question I have right now. So, <sighs> sorry. I am, like, still trying to get over. I almost had an asthma attack, like, two days ago. It was really, really bad. And I'm still trying to get over that. <coughs> Not to mention a bunch of allergies and stuff. But if y'all can let me know so I know, like what course to take for action if my manager decides to be a jerk. I would appreciate that. Bye.